Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome to Hammer. Hammer is a visual novel based off a short story written in years ago in 4chan. That's about a person living in a kind of post-apocalyptic world who has to make a single choice. At least this match actually lights. Thank God for the small miracles. I take the little flame the match has and hold it up to the wood. Within a few moments, the wood begins to glow, and flames overtake it. I'm going to be warm for another night. I don't know when winter first started. It must have been a couple of weeks ago. All I know that is it's damn cold. I wonder how long this patch of wood will last. Hopefully, it'll be more than a night. I've only got a few matches left. When I first broke into the house, there was nobody in it, though. So maybe it's one of those summer or winter homes. Considering that there's not any other house in the area for miles. Not that that matters anymore, though. Better than any place I've lived in until now. I can't help but wonder if they died the same way my parents and friends died, coughing up blood and wheezing, with dark circles around their eyes. They all started dying a month or two ago. At least, I think it was that long ago. By the time anyone knew what was going on, it was too late. Reports came in from all over the globe of people just coughing out blood and falling over dead. They were fine before, everyone said. Never saw this coming. Me? I got the hell out as soon as my last friend died. Because I had the luxury of being a neat hikikomori with very few friends and being stuck inside not exposed to people. Found a car that had a key in it and sped off to anywhere. That's how I found this place. I'm hungry. I think I'll grab something to eat. I don't remember the original post of this story. I might vaguely remember it, but it might have been based around that uh, kind of old joke people always have as the, like, we're, we're shut-ins who do nothing but surf the internet all day and collect our waifus. When the plague comes and the zombie invasion comes or whatever, we'll be here safe, not infected, because we don't have social contact. And I feel like this story is based off that. I open the cabinet. There's a few batches of canned food here. All Uncle Mujin's cream corn. I checked the fridge when I first got here, and it was empty. Perhaps I was right about the whole temporary house thing. I grab a can opener and open a can of cream corn. I've never really liked vegetables. But when it's the end of the whole world, and you're stuck in a house with an empty fridge, cream corn might as well be a filet mignon. Can't open. I grab a spoon and start digging in. The corn tastes like shit. But it's nourishing shit. So I might as well keep eating. Looks to be an ever quiet evening. And I do mean quiet. Ever since the power went out a couple of days ago, there's been no TV, no computer, no radio, nothing. I haven't seen a soul in about a month now. It's not as if there's anything else I'll be doing for a while. I've tried looking for a flare, or something to alert people where I am. But so far, I've got nothing. The only tools around here seem to be an axe. And a hammer. The axe I've used to gather wood in the forest. It's quiet in the forest, too. Haven't heard a bird sing or a cricket chirp since I first got here. I wonder if whatever killed off everybody killed all the animals. I hold that thought for a moment, and then chuckle to myself. It can't be that bad. It's never that bad. After all, I'm still alive. Yeah, 
I suppose that's not all that great either. You know, maybe... What the hell was that? It's coming from the door. It's gotta be a tree or something. Or maybe an animal. Yeah, it's gotta be something like that. Just an animal. Or maybe the wind. Or something. I walk slowly to the door, making sure the knocking continues. It does. As I make another step forward, I hear a loud sh shuffling sound. It's the sound of the doorknob. The locked doorknob. I never knew why I felt like locking the door, especially nowadays. But here we are. Someone is trying to open the door. I pick up the hammer off the table. I can't be too careful. I grab the key in my pocket. I'll open the door. Just a little bit. Just a tiny peek. I open the door, ever so slowly. The door creaks and... It's my waifu. It's a girl. Please. Please let me in. I don't believe it. There's really someone at the door. Please let me in. It, it's so cold out here. There's a real-life person out there. Alright. Let me get you a blanket or something. Thank you. That would be... Before she can finish her sentence, she falls to the ground. Coughing. No. Oh, hell no. I slam the door as fast as I can. She's infected. That's how it starts. Coughing. I hear a pounding on the door. Please. Please let me in. Shit. I forgot to lock the door. I slam my body against the door. I can't help but stare at the doorknob. Furiously shaking. She's trying to force her way in. Wait. I've got a hammer. And I'm pretty strong. I think I could have enough time to open the door and... And do what exactly? I can't just kill someone. But she's infected. And if I let her in, so will I. There are just some things that have to be done. Please, help me. But she really needs help. Maybe it isn't that bad. But God, the coughing. I heard it in droves when I was running. You can't help it. When you're infected, you start coughing like mad. Then comes the blood, and then death. Gotta make a choice soon. I can't just block the door forever. No, no. What am I doing? Here I am, all alone. And I'm already trying to kill the first person I meet. Maybe it's just a cough. It is pretty cold out there. I'm sorry. She groans a little. Damn it. I've got to get her warm. I pick her up and drag her inside the room and sell her by the fire. Ugh. Uh huh? Hello? She coughs again. I don't feel so good. Shit. She is infected. I cry out and retreat from her. What's wrong? I open my mouth to say something. Nothing. Nothing at all. We sit in silence for a while. She seems to be alright for now, but I'm going to die. I let her in, and now I'm going to die. So how do you feel now? Tired. I think I'm going to go to sleep now. The fire feels so nice. Her voice trails off as she closes her eyes. Her throat lets out a rattling cough and a lot of blood. Then there is silence. I get up from the fireplace and head back to the kitchen. My throat already feels a bit scratchy. Damn, this disease works fast. 
I grab my can of cream corn and continue eating. If I'm going out, I'm going out with my stomach full. Akin Mujin's cream corn. Hell of a last meal. So, by letting our potential future waifu in, we died a horrible death. But we managed to show kindness in our final moments. What's the other option? Gotta do what's best. Gotta think about number one here. I swing the door open and bring the hammer down on her. It impacts her skull with a sickening thud. A few more hits, and she's shaking. I hit her head one more time. She stops shaking. I shakily put down the hammer, and I breathe hard. God, the adrenaline must be pumping right now. She's definitely still now. Should I take her pulse? No, there's no need. She's dead now. Oh god. Sorry, but I did what I had to do. I had to live. I wish it could have been different. But it was the right choice. There are just some things you have to do, right? Besides, it's over now. I'm alive. I'm alone. But I can't lose hope. There'll be someone else if I hope hard enough. There's got to be. I close my eyes. My throat's really scratchy.